And liftoff. Liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Launching Dragon to the International Space Station and returning cargo resupply missions to U.S. soil. This is the first of 12 cargo missions the California-based company SpaceX has agreed to fly as part of a $1.6 billion contract with NASA. It is only the second time a non-government entity has launched a capsule toward the space station. Just as in this video from SpaceX's historic demonstration flight in May, the unmanned capsule will catch up to the orbiting lab, and astronauts will use the station's robotic arm to dock the Dragon. The approach will be a challenge once again, says SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell. And you're, because you're basically in close proximity to the International Space Station, it's a crude uh, $100 billion <laughs> orbiting body, so you want to be really careful as you do that. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden says the commercial launch was critical. We're handing off to the private sector our transportation to the International Space Station so that NASA can focus on what we do best exploring even deeper into our solar system with missions to an asteroid and Mars on the horizon. NASA lost its ability to reach the station when it retired its space shuttle fleet last year. Russia, Europe and Japan can deliver supplies to the orbiting lab, but their cargo craft do not return to Earth as the Dragon does. Julie Robinson is a program scientist at NASA. The SpaceX Dragon is a really important vehicle for us because it supports the laboratory use of ISS both in bringing cargo up to the space station and in bringing research samples home. And uh, it has a great return capability. It essentially replaces that capacity that we lost when the shuttle retired. SpaceX and other companies give NASA greater flexibility, but there is a risk involved says Howard McCurdy, a professor of public affairs at American University in Washington. Well, it's a big bet. It's a big bet because what the United States is betting is that the commercial sector can do what NASA seemed incapable of doing in, in the last days of the, of the shuttle flights, and that is developing a low-cost, high-reliability launch vehicle that can take people and cargo from the surface of the Earth to low Earth orbit and bring the people back occasionally. SpaceX says it expects the Dragon to be able to carry people within three years. Suzanne Presto, VOA News. Departure burns. These are small pulses of the engines that move Dragon away from the International Space Station itself. But just to recap. In station and on to for Dragon. Dragon depart commands has been commanded. The PET timer is started. You have a go to re-enable thrusters. Joe, we copy. Great work, guys.